To be successful in life, you must understand that there's always going to be a spring, a summer, a winter, and a fall. And I'm giving you a metaphor here, but you get my drift. You have to be able to accept there's going to be good times and bad times. Stay tuned. Hello again everyone, I'm Eli's dad with Project Eli, where we educate, we lead, and we inspire. Last time we got together, we were reviewing an article by a gentleman named Darshak Rana, R-A-N-A, -A, that he wrote called 10 Naked Truths That Make Life Miserable If You Don't Accept Them Soon. And we went over the first five the last time we got together. Let's pick up with number six, because if you can't handle these truths, as Jack Nicholson likes to say, you're destined not to live a very happy life. Point number six. Everyone who appreciates you is not your true friend. Friends are easy to make these days. You send, accept, a friend request, and there you have it. You got a friend. But the truth is, friends are not easy to make, especially those who stand beside you to wipe off your tears and offer you a shoulder to cry on. Just because someone talks with you nicely doesn't mean that they care about you in your life. I realized this brutal truth when my so-called friends cut me off when I was broke. So don't call anyone your friend unless they have stood the test of time. It just spoils the meaning of friendship. Number seven, no one is your enemy. People who insulted and rejected me were my enemies. For a major part of my life, I considered them a hindrance to my peace. But I was wrong. They were only presenting their ideas and opinions. Basing my self-worth on public opinions or perceptions was my mistake, not theirs. So the truth is, no one can get into your mind to sabotage your peace. If someone's rude, it means they're hurt. If you keep churning insults and negativity in your mind, you'll never be peaceful. It's on you to make way for your own peace. The only way I saw out was to consider advice and opinions as just perceptions. Number eight, you are alone in this world. We came into this world alone. Then we found a company in our parents, siblings, friends, if any, partners, and so on. But do or will they stay with us forever? Perhaps no. I always found myself alone in the time of distress. Whether it's a medical emergency or a financial loss or mental stress, no one could share my pain. Undoubtedly, family and friends were around to support me, but I had to fight my battle. I had to face what life threw at me. We often forget the truth that our actions create our destiny, and only we have to taste the fruits of our actions, good or bad. Others can support us, help us, but they can't walk the path of our life for us. We have to do it alone. No matter how scary it looks, life is the walk of the alone. Number nine, if you're free, then you're worthless. Sure, I'll be there for the Saturday night party, as always. I'm always free for you. You know, I can never say no to you. I don't have anything to do on the weekend, so count me in. You know what, we need to stop using these phrases. The more available we are, the less worthy people consider us. When I use these phrases extensively, my friends, office colleagues, and even my boss took me for granted. They never sought permission to count me in on their work. Instead, they always declared their decision like a king's final verdict. So you've got to draw a boundary between your me time and socializing. Otherwise, people will think of you like a free candy or a complimentary airline's earphones. Worthless. Treat yourself the way you want others to treat you. Number 10. 
the perfect time never arrives. We tend to wait for the perfect moments to propose, confess, or express our feelings. But the truth is, the perfect moment never arrives. Even when we try to make it perfect later, it loses its charm, value, and meaning. And often, we're left with regrets. I wish I had done it earlier. I wish I had proposed to her in college. I wish... All these wishes and desires drown you in guilt and suck the joy out of living. Sometimes, your feelings remain inside forever because the person for whom it was meant to be is no more. Time never gets better. It only gets worse. There's a Chinese saying explaining the importance of the present moment. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Living with an uncomfortable truth is better than a fake comfort. At least you know what to expect. Truth doesn't need proof for validation. It exists no matter what. So these 10 truths that we've given you ground you to reality, enabling you to see things in your true colors. I'd like to invite you, my listeners, if there are some truths that you feel have been omitted, please send them in the comment box. I'd very much like to hear them and share them with other people based on their validity. And always remember, don't ration the passion, fashion the passion. I'm Eli's dad.